bottomless biscuits and gravy. Gravy. Grady. <laughs> I just ate a biscuit. Big biscuit we got from the food bank. Yeah, I just drank a cider. Running on no no goddamn sleep. I'm gonna play Lemony Snicket's series of unfortunate events. That way I don't have to do it later. No game audio yet? Ooh, peanut butter porter, nice. Yep, drinking shit talk. That's <laughs> that's what the night's for. I was torn between this and Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. Prince of Persia. Good game. Uh, above average. It has a couple of points. That are kind of annoying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if, if I had to give it a rating, I would say 8.5 out of 10 for Prince of Persia. Exceptional title, but not one of my favorites. Yeah. How bad can it be? Uh, this, uh, I played this game growing up, actually. So I'm, I'm prepared for this shit. I played through it in, like, middle school. No subtitles. Maybe it just has perma subtitles. I like how it defaults to continue without saving. game you are about to play See, is extremely action up. unpleasant. If you are interested in casting magic spells or saving the earth from alien invasions, you might as well stop right now. If a happy ending is important to you, you would certainly be better off with something else. In this game, not only is there no happy ending, there is no happy beginning and very few happy things in the middle. This is because not very many happy things happened in the lives of the three Baudelaire children who are Violet, the oldest, her brother Klaus, and their very young sister, Sunny. Sunny was at an age where one mostly speaks in a series of unintelligible shrieks. I did read these which books growing up. Trouble understanding. For instance... Yeah. <coughs> Mr. Poe? From the bank? <coughs> children? I'm it's kind of funny how I the author always breaks the fourth wall. An extremely unfortunate event. I'm very sorry to tell you this. Your parents have perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home. Perished is a word which here means they were lost forever to everyone who loved them, and that the world had suddenly become a lonely and sinister place in which the children had to see their speak. way. God damn it. <clears throat> I know you must feel awful right now. Yeah, really, the books were pretty good. good news for you. As the executor of your parents' estate, I've made arrangements for you to live with your dear uncle, Count Olaf. <coughs> Consider yourselves lucky children. He's an actor by trade. Generosity is rare in his profession. We don't know a Count Olaf. So much Hello, hello, oh, hello. I am your Monsieur. beloved Count Olaf, and welcome to my humble dwelling, or in the words of the great French poet Ovid, Mi casa et su casa. So like, yeah, their, their parents died, Argenti. they got sent to live with their How do you do? 
bizarre this distant uncle. Clouds. Ovid was Roman, and he didn't speak Spanish. <laughs> and he never said that. Klaus. Catch Dream. Yeah, he's demanding it. <laughs> what God. a darling child. Dreamy didn't believe me. <laughs> I was like, Brewster's gonna be acting up today, and she's like, Nah. Mr. Poe, he's been pretty chill all day. Raise these orphans as if they were my own. No. Where do I sign for the fortune? Pat his ass. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Children. Wanda. How do we get this Show done? Show your ass for the camera. <clears throat> oh, you won't officially have guardianship until the hearing Thursday morning. I Fucking see. Animal. And what am I to do with them until then? <laughs> Excuse me? Nothing? Fuck. Never mind. Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, my tires. I'd better be getting back to the bank. Give or take a few minutes. It's not a big deal. You stay. I was going to pull out some board games, followed by face painting, and make your own Sunday. <laughs> well, if you must go. And now, children, remember: if you need anything, feel free to contact me at the bank. Orphans, let me show you around. Yeah, this is not biting me yet. Yep, there we go. The end After game. All graphics. your chores are done, Ski. This is where you'll see Dunsky. As you can see, I've stocked the place with a multitude such a cool of uncle. jollies, knickknacks, and paddywhacks for your amusement. I find that giving is the greatest gift of all. If I had music behind me, you'd be crying right now. By the way, there's a small rat infestation problem in the house. Make yourself useful and take care of it. I do it myself, but I find rats to be deeply unpleasant. Brewster's never chill. Oh, perhaps there's something about them that reminds me of myself. Klaus, that was a very big rat. How are you going to get rid of rats? Exterminators use traps and poisons. We don't have anything. Like many people, Violet Baudelaire was afraid of rats and didn't want to have anything to do with them. Unlike many people, she was also a brilliant inventor. Hmm. Anyone who knew Violet well could tell she was thinking very hard she when her long hair her was hair tied up, up in a ribbon. ribbon to keep it out of her eyes. I've got an idea for a device to do the job. I'll need a spring, a broom, a coffee can, and that boxing glove. Both Baudelaire children will be needed on this adventure. Try switching to Klaus now. I'll take it. Yeah, you switch between well, the two of them. At times, the children will be faced with more laborious tasks. A phrase which here means pushing heavy objects across the room. Yeah, they don't look great. Oh, I can't move the camera up and down. Let's move it side to side. I wanted to get a zoom in on the baby. Push objects that can be pushed. Press and hold B to, and move the character in the direction you want them to be pushed. Nice work. While jumping is only recommended for people with strong knees or insects in their trousers, let's give it a go. Stealing is a very impolite habit, and it is something you should never, ever, ever, ever do. Borrowing, on the other hand, is tolerable. Collect that boxing glove now. Found a boxing glove. Even the smartest person in the world uh, could to get This is one of those games where it stops you every two seconds. This list should do the trick. I don't like the way their faces move, though. It's like... Once you feel you have spent just time their jaw the moves place, when they talk. They leave through that door. There's no actual like facial expressions on him. He's so bouncy in his steps. What's wrong with you, boy? Let Brewster go somewhere else. Not in the mood for it. Not tonight. Can I... 
It's always either the, the Y axis or the X axis is inverted. For some fucking reason, you can't change it. The uh, X axis is inverted, so left is right and right's left. In these dark moments, when their spirits were down, one thing always made the children feel better memories of their late mother and father, who they missed very much. Coffee can. It's locked, but I can see inside. It looks like some sort of supply closet. Look, Look at this. At me with those big it's a ventilation bug chair. Eyes. Klaus Baudelaire loved books. Nothing pleased him more than spending an afternoon filling up his head with their contents. Yeah, I, I hate read. inverted controls. I read a book about home ventilation once. From the size and age of the house, I'd say this is part of an old remote mounted multiport system. It should connect to other nearby vents and may lead to rooms behind locked doors. Sonny, you up for a challenge? While I personally am not a fan of small dark spaces, Sonny Baudelaire was extremely brave for her age. It's baby time. Send Sonny on an adventure. Appreciate the alert, gameplay boy. As always. Yeah, the booster. Oh fuck. I thought I had it rough. I was paying attention. I purposefully picked a game that I'm not going to want to play the whole thing in one sitting. Sonny, try biting through the board that's blocking the door. Sonny liked to bite things with her four very sharp teeth. Four very sharp teeth. Just chewed through the fucking pipe in the wall. Sunny didn't enjoy pushing nearly as much as biting, but she would do anything to help her brother and sister. Thanks, Sunny. She just ate that entire, like, 20 foot piece of wood. I wonder what these are. Maybe we'll need them later. He found a broom. Amazing. We'll start with the coffee can. That'll serve as a casing for the device. Next, we'll use the broom. It'll be the handle you hold on to, Klaus. Press A. Next up, the uh, spring. Okay. The spring I get it. Supply energy, which we'll be needing for sure. Guaranteed to deliver a solid punch. And there you have it. I call it the brilliant buffer. The brilliant bopper. I'm pretty sure you use that like for the rest of the entire game. Uh, inverted controls why. I'll take it from here. Amazing. Every fucking you can take care feet. of this, right, Klaus? The brilliant bopper, perfect for shaking hands with extremely large people or clearing rats out of a room. Your choice. of him just torturing insects. It's 
Accidentally hit Y instead of B to open the door. Take it now. Let's keep looking. The telescope is pointing at those houses. Who's kind of off watching? Don't know what the puzzle pieces do. I think those gold lockets are health. No need for this now, but it could be useful later. Seeing a swimming pool. We'll need to find a key for this. Came from here. Go to the main room, I guess. What's that? It's a telegram. To Violet Klaus and Sunny Baudelaire. Beware Count Olaf. Stop. Motives highly questionable. Stop. We are collecting evidence of wrongdoings. Help us find more. Stop. When assembled, all will be revealed. Stop. P.S. The world is quiet here. Where did it come from? It says that it was delivered by the very fast delivery service. <laughs> there are often secrets to be found when investigating the lives of the Baudelaire orphans. This will be a good place to keep track of them all. So you get the puzzle pieces and make pictures out of them, which show you hidden areas, I guess. We'll need to find a key for this. Oh no, this house is overrun. I think I played this on the original Xbox too. We should find the kitchen. I bet most of them are in there. The neighborhood. This piano's taking quite a beating. Count Olaf should have it replaced. The parlor. That looks locked. I don't see anything else in here. Guess we'll go to the kitchen. This house is filthy. Get all these cutscenes over with. Like God, you know what else I need to play soon is The Hobbit. It's just something about that game. It's just such ass. Because this was 2004 is when this game came out. So it's kind of like later OG job, Xbox Klaus. graphics. Let's go tell Count Olaf we finished. But I think... The Hobbit was like early, maybe 2002, 2003. Something? There's a note over here. 
is from Count Olaf. Dear Orphans, Definitely isn't an ass movie time. No. Was sufficient enough that I'll allow you to clear out the spiders as well. Deal with it quietly. I am rehearsing and will not tolerate interruption. Spiders? Big, hairy spiders? Hmm. This game in it's particular. I'll need a funnel, an inner tube, a fork, a fan, and our lunch. It's a it's a video game made of a movie that was made about a book. So it's kind of like this like fucked up like bits and pieces of two other things of media so it's like hardly has its own right identity thing. is Let's I think part of the problem I'm sure this will come in handy later oh my god just take everything that you think is going to be helpful don't make me backtrack Found a fan. Good thing we didn't pick that up earlier. We'll need to find a key <clears> for this. Secret file. Because I got 25 puzzle pieces. Let's see. Oh, that's the secret? That painting where he's torturing ants? Sneaking around where you're not wanted. Are you getting all these barrels? What are you doing? Crazy asshole. You ain't seen the last of me. We bopped him good. The telescope is pointing at those houses. Who's kind of left watching? Funnel. <laughs> Grabbing the funnel, boys. Is that an inflatable thing? Pool toy? Is that back here? Also. Open up, bitch. Check out the secret. Why not? Unlock something in the extras menu. Very cool. Yeah, let's save. Makes you think of the HP Lovecraft game. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I gotta play that soon. Call of Cthulhu. I think I'm so fucking ugly. What the fuck is going on down here? <laughs> Wasn't the tube thing in here? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> What a legend. Can I just keep getting the same puzzle pieces over and over again? Also, where's that damn pool toy? What the fuck? I thought it was in here. It was a room like this. Not the main room. There we go. We need to find a key for this. Do I get keys for all these chests? 
telescope is pointing at those houses. Who's Count Olaf watching? What the fuck else do I need? Something from the clock? No. Fire poker? Is that what that is? The main room is a fireplace. Can I just jump over the balcony? End it all. Can that be how the story ends? Those spiders are particularly nasty. Is there no fireplace down here? Guess not. Fireplace in the kitchen? Maybe he's got like a big. Oh. He's got a big something in here. Uh, it's perfect for my invention. Maybe he'll let us borrow it. Eaten with the fucking fire Excuse poker. Excuse me. Hey! What are you doing sneaking around? I was just gonna ask if I could borrow. Can you hear me? Get lost! <laughs> I dig. I think he throws spaghetti at you. Yeah, look at him. Nasty ass. Fucking pound your ass. Jeez. You hit him once and he gets like 10 minutes of iframes. What the fuck is this? You gotta wait for him to run out of meatballs. And he spawns more. Oh, this game sucks. Let's start with the pool toy. I've had to bend it a bit to ensure proper trajectory. What did you do to that thing? Next is the fan. The fan will provide the propulsion we need. Next up, the funnel. The funnel will allow the fruit to be aimed correctly. Stick a fork in the game. And last, the fork. It'll need a handle so I can carry it around. All in all, a crafty piece of machinery. I call it the Fruit Flinger. Great. spider looks less than pleasant. Use the fruit flinger to knock it down. Pull and hold the right trigger. Oh, really? You gotta go first person? At least the targeting isn't... Well, now she's angry. Violet's invention Inverted. should do the trick. How am I supposed to... Oh really? It's a it's a mini boss. All right. And this is way better than his little punching thing. So I can just stay back here and wait for them to be vulnerable. I can spawn unlimited tomatoes. Oof, ouch. Well, shot five projectiles that time. <laughs> I love when you can turn in the air like that. Finally done. Oh, really? 
I thought I was the one who decided when your chores were finished. My theater troupe will be dining here this evening, and you will have dinner ready precisely when we feel like eating it. I must leave now. Prolonged exposure to children makes me ill. None of us know how to cook. We don't even have a recipe. Maybe we could ask our new neighbor, Justice Strauss, if she has a cookbook we could borrow. It's so nice to finally meet you children. I'd love to help you, but my fellow justices will be arriving soon for a meeting, and I must get this library back in order. M maybe we can help. Oh my goodness, would you? I'd be so grateful. My most important books are scattered about and must go back in their alcoves. You can tell where each book belongs by matching the title with the design of its display. Please hurry, children. My guests will be here any minute. Good luck! I kind of wish this game Klaus, was on do you remember the PS1. Game your dad used to play? Let's see how quickly I can get each of those books back. So much I can pound my sister. The Glorious Garden. Wow. The Glorious Garden. I need to put this book away first. What? I'm on a time limit. Keep looking. I know you can do it. Nope. Not here. The amazing athlete goes here. Yeah, this would be some bullshit. I'll need to keep looking. The splendid stegosaurus goes here. How many fucking books? Why am I just going around doing everyone's chores? even break that shit while I'm holding this. That's where it goes? Can I like start over? It gave me a time limit. I'll just put it here, I guess. A perfect fit. Let's wow. see what's next. Perfect fit. No other book could have possibly gone here. switch to her so I can't put the baby in the hole. The talented tourist. The talented tourist. Hurry, Klaus. Why am I hurrying? I need to put this book away first. Check that one off the list. The pleasant painting. I don't know where this one goes. I'll need to keep looking. Hurry, Klaus. My timer just disappeared. Right where it belongs. Like, what is what is this timer? I don't I don't get it. Is it some secret? plants at least <laughs> he's beautiful in the back the splendid stegosaurus he started doing that uh, last night climbed up there 
don't want to let Justice Strauss down. If you don't put that book down in five seconds, you'll be so disappointed. Interesting. Justice Strauss has quite an extensive library. <laughs> Is there another book? Still can't switch to Violet. I don't think. There's anything over here. <laughs> kind of hoping that he he mellows out. He was getting rowdy. A few minutes ago, the majestic moon. The majestic moon. Hysteric moon. <laughs> Don't know where this goes. Keep looking. I know you can do it. A perfect fit. Let's see what's next. Children, I don't know what I would have done without you. You put everything away exactly where it belongs. Oh, and just in the nick of time, I have a wonderful cookbook tucked away on the top level. It's a little hard to get to with all the construction, but if you can find a way up there, you're welcome to take it with you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have guests Don't like the way your mouth moves. You go that path. Hmm. I've got an idea. If I had a book strap and some sort of pull cord, I could attach them to that fire extinguisher to invent a device that will help Sunny jump. Yep, now you can pick everything up. We're gonna strap our little sister to a fucking fire extinguisher. First thought was, oh my god, I hate her. Yeah, it's, it's the mouth. It's the way the mouth moves. And her voice. little sister up by her brooch traps. child off into orbit. Generally it's better for babies to remain safely on the ground. Sunny Baudelaire, however, was no ordinary baby. The child leader. <laughs> sequence over and the dickhead narrator
wonder how Lemony Snicket feels about this game. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. Strap you to something worse than a fire extinguisher. <laughs> yeah. Noodles, tomatoes, garlic, olives, and anchovies. Pasta puttanesca. That should do it. Let's head back to Count Olaf's and start looking for ingredients. Oh, bah, you know. So, you've decided to waste your time rummaging through old books next door. Funny. I thought I told you. Start making dinner! Well, it's especially the baby blah, blah. animations. You know what it's like to have to act on an empty stomach. <laughs> Can you even imagine? <laughs> Japanese clock tower nightmares. This is the pantry. This is where the food is kept. This <laughs> is, is it? where you should be Poor looking. pasta. Now get to work. It looks like that switch opens the door. But none of us are tall enough to reach it. Make some whore pasta hmm. for your whore mouth. I've got an idea. We'll need a tripod, a piano wire, and those snowshoes. Just autosave. Forgot to use the secret file in that other area. Oh well. Some string and a megaphone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, won't budge. Then how will I get the piano wires? To open the door, we need a Wait door a handle. I've read about this. It's a vibraphonic deluxe. Once the most prestigious name in grand pianos. What happened? The piano suffers from a fatal flaw. The parts are so precise and delicate that certain melodies can create acoustic resonance. Acoustic resonance is a term which here means powerfully intensified sound waves caused by vibrations inside the body of a musical instrument. Klaus, that's perfect. If we can play the right melody, we can blow the lid off and get inside. Interesting. Anyways, let's go back to the neighbor's house and get the secret. Can we do that? It's tempting, but this is our new home, and Count Olaf is our guardian. We have to stay. Damn. I'm sure this will come in handy later. Are you, are I'm a little rusty, it? but I'll give it a try. QT. See that sweet, sweet quick time event? Yep. <laughs> Like, you, you can see how the gameplay is going to loop for the rest of the game. But you'll have to play faster. She's pretty fucking good at piano. <laughs> I can't play like that. Oof. 
I'm sure that's what would happen if you played that song on a specific piano. That's how that works, right? A little faster. books in general. It's got a certain degree of cursed. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> Mario 64, traumatic childhood memories. What else do we need? Tripod. Those fucking all the way back up here. Because we don't pick up things that are gonna be useful later. We backtrack when we need them. What the hell? It's random fucking bitches in his house. Let's start with the legs of the tripod. These will give me the height that I need. Next is the piano wire. When applied correctly, it will provide rotary motion. Allowing the legs to rise and fall. Next are my boots. I'll attach the legs to my boots so I can use them whenever I choose. And last, the straps from the snowshoes. These should hold it all together. Ready for action. I call them the steady stones. Can just put one person on the other person's so shoulder, right? Just go over the balcony. Land on the baby. Stilts are useful for circus performers, people with very long arms, and those wishing to reach things they could not ordinarily reach. Try using violet stilts now. Yeah, this is normal. How can Count Olaf expect us to make dinner without any food? I'd say it's tetrachlorophenyl sodium hydroxide. What does that mean? It means you don't want to touch it. We'll need to find another way across. My stilts should work just fine. You found the noodles. Explained. What the fuck is the cellar? <laughs> Doesn't hurt that much. Just keep going. I need to find a way to get Klaus across. Klaus, I've drained the tunnel. Damn children, you found where I keep all my green shit. Klaus, we need to clear out those rats. 
I mean, yeah, she, will need to clear out those rats she won't go anywhere near rats. These rats seem meaner than the others. I wonder if they've been affected by the goop. Mutant goop rats? Take too much damage? I wasn't even paying attention. It's my turn. Fuck. What a punishment. <laughs> Ugh, this goop is gross. That steam looks hot. to get Klaus across. Klaus, I've drained the tunnel. I'll take it from here. These rats seem meaner than the others. I wonder if they've been affected by the goo. <laughs> I could at least give him the tomato launcher thing. fucked up. <laughs> if you punch them, then they hurt you. Do they just keep spawning? Now. That's what you're supposed to do? You're not supposed to just kill the rats? I really do just keep spawning. Okay. B? That's uh, a job for we can put the baby in the tunnel. It's my turn. Hey, Retro Interrosser. How's it going? I thought I was tall enough to get past that. Fine, fine. <laughs> I know the feeling. I'm doing fine as well. I'm so tired after work. I'm about to put a baby in this tunnel. Seems unnecessary. So we strapped a fire extinguisher on the back of this baby. That's how we move forward.
Sunny's more powerful than Violet is. Can just kill the damn rats. Did you ever read the books of this? Retro? I read a few of them, like maybe the first six or seven when I was growing up. I actually played this game growing up too. None of them, huh? I read it because, like, we needed to read enough to get through, like, middle school, like, elementary school, maybe. And these books weren't that long. So that, that helped me get a lot of the AR points that we needed. Pretty good books. Yeah. Remember I liked them when I was a kid. This game's not great though. It's like, fine, you know, it functions, but it's just not Who would store their food in a place like this? enjoyable to play, it's just, it feels like that part of like certain games where like it's the tutorial mission, but like the whole game kind of feels like that. spiders and made them get rid of those too. <laughs> oh, Olaf, you're so clever. Ahem. <clears throat> Dinner is served. Putinesca. What did you call me? It's pasta. Pasta Putinesca. Where's the roast beef? Roast beef? Philistines? You vex me to my very core. We slave for our art. Have you not seen our suffering? When a group of international actors pauses for nourishment, they expect and deserve better than a pile of mushy chum. They expect and deserve, as the Greeks would say, roté de bœuf. But you didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. But you didn't tell us you wanted roast beef. That's not fair. Klaus! You all saw it. The plate slipped from my hand. That plate did look slippery. I felt a gust of wind. Did someone leave a window open? You monster. Lock them away. I grow weary of their miserable faces. Klaus? I do too. Are you okay? No. This isn't our home. We can't stay here. You're right. But we're stuck in this room. How will we get out? Good. Count Olaf's henchmen are on patrol. You stay here, Violet. I'll look for another way in. This kind of reminds me of a PS2 Scooby-Doo game. Also not great. I would say better than this, though. I think the game's more enjoyable. This audio clip just got cut off. Who just opens and closes a fucking window like that over and over? I'm just gonna wait for him to turn around. 
I already know. It's a weird sound clip that they use. Nah, it's it's not a great game. That's funny. It fits right in with a pile of junk. I don't think a skeleton key would work on chests. We'll need to find a key for this. If they work on a house, inheritance law, accidental death. I don't think they work on chests, you know. Benefits paid to guardian? Official and legal documents required. What does that mean? It means that if we die, Count Olaf gets our fortune. What are we going to do? Spunk. Sonny's right. We've got to find a phone and call uh. Mr. Poe. I'm sure there's one somewhere in this house. Has some interesting hobbies. What do I do with all these puzzle pieces? Can I keep getting secrets? Like every 25, you get one? Okay, it's like that pirate painting. I thought that was in the other house. is dead. We can't call for help. We'll have to get out of here on our own. Violet, look at this. There's some kind of hatch underneath the fireplace. Can you open it? It's sealed shut. Hmm. We'll need some weight. A pile of firewood should do. We tie it to a rope and hang it over a levered plank with a ball and ball on the other side. Got all that? I think so. Firewood, rope, bowling ball. Right? Exactly. I'll leave my blueprint here for reference. That's cool though. That's that's kind of what I I would do too. I like looking for um, like different lots of things on eBay. Sometimes people just have like a box of random shit and they just want to get rid of it. Bedroom. It's sealed shut. Can finally get that rope. Bowling ball. I don't remember there being a bowling ball. Boxes of computer crap. <laughs> I 
Oh. <laughs> what is that? What is that dance? How sad. Boo -hoo. Why can't I just punch him? Why do I have to punch him from behind? Does he do that? <laughs> Every time. Unlock something in the extras menu. So secret. Kitchen, I guess? Would there be a bowling ball in the kitchen? I think it's like the only place I haven't checked. Oh, I have the key for this now. Oh, critics, they ignore the bad reviews. They roll off the audience, adore the bold and dashing count. Oh, even while he's in the shower, even while he is God, can we kill them yet? That's not in the song. Oh, it's those vile children, Count Olaf and Rodney. How dare you interrupt us in the half sanctity of rehearsal? Time for a new song. The Wicked Waltz in G minor. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> nice emote. It's fitting. Take a while. Perfume, really? That's gonna kill me? Just a couple of tomatoes. Bowling ball do? I think it would. Mm, 
check this shit out first. Almost have enough for another secret. What else do we need? What now? It's my turn. Maybe I just go back to the door. We have everything we need. Let's head back to the dining room. trigger my invention. Let's check the blueprint. Rope, bowling ball, and baby. somewhere it's sealed shut the comfy bed treating you dreamy. More comfy that than this couch. It. Once we're through that hatch, we're free from this house. Let's make sure we grab everything we want before we leave. She's just making sounds. Grab everything we want before we leave. So that's a hint to <gasps> Double check. One puzzle piece. And I would get an extra secret. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> if you are someone who likes to jump ahead of the story and guess at what is about to happen, you might suppose that the Baudelaire orphans were unsuccessful in their escape attempt and that they were thrown straight into a situation even more awful than the last. If that is what you think, you are entirely correct. Count Olaf put the children in his car and took them on what he said would be a pleasant Sunday drive. Drive is a word which here means trapped in front of an oncoming train. Oh yeah, train time. With the doors locked shut and no way to open them, Violet thought up an ingenious invention to get them out of trouble. Yeah. If I launch it at <laughs> just the right it. time, this device should we're just, be We're just here now. You'll need to hit it several times to set the train onto a different track. That's it. Keep it up. <laughs> the thing goes so fast now. before it was too late, a magical flying unicorn swept down from the sky and whisked them to safety. Or maybe not. 
the children's astonishing I'm resourcefulness so I can play saves games. them from imminent I'm flattery. uncomfortable on this Once couch and playing a passed, mediocre Mr. game. Poe <laughs> happened by with an assessment of the situation that had almost nothing to do with what was really going on. Sonny is far too young to be driving an automobile. <coughs> it's simply not good parenting. He took the Baudelaire orphans away from Count Olaf. But before he did, he let Olaf have one final moment with the children. I'll be back again. When you least expect it, I am a master of disguise. I can become anyone, I can follow you anywhere, and I'll get my hands on your fortune if it's the last thing I deserve. Well, hello there! So the I end am of your book Uncle one. Marty. My goodness, you must be Violet. Do you remember me? Probably not, you were only a baby. Klaus, we've never met. How do you do? And Sonny. Oh, Sonny. You look so much like your mother. But with fangs like a Malaysian pit viper. My goodness. Now, what do you children know about snakes? Not very much. I like their Uncle Monty. Is that what you do? Study snakes? Yes, well, not just snakes. Herpetology is the study of all reptiles. Come in, come in, come in. There's not much time, and we've got to get ready for Peru. You're taking us to Peru? Isn't it exciting? Of course. I'll need to make sure you're up to the task. Peru is no place for amateurs. I've hidden four aspiring adventurer trophies in and around my house. If you can retrieve all of them, I'll know you can handle whatever challenges Peru has to throw at you. Follow me outside to get started. What kind of car is it? I, I kind of miss it. Tatra. For us outside. I don't think I've even heard of one. Uh, said he's waiting for us outside. Front yard, I guess. Uncle Monty wouldn't want us leaving the ground. Oh, Czechoslovakian. Uncle Monty wouldn't want us leaving the grounds. Adventurer trophy is through this door. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got other things to attend to. Good luck, children. I never hear about like cars from like smaller European countries. And they're like, you know, German. Some French car makers, I think. The main ones. This must be Uncle Monty's storage shed. We'll need to find a key for this. I don't know anything about cars, though, really. System. I wonder how it works. Hit it with tomatoes? Yep, guess so. That's how it works. <laughs> this must be Uncle Monty's storage shed. A lot of people really like cars. Which is good. I mean, they're... Pretty useful invention. So it's good there are a lot of people that are passionate about them. just like thought about going out 
like learning to drive, getting a car, and then having it break, and then paying for it. <laughs> Pay for it all over again. Yeah, that's interesting. That's not something I ever thought of, that like tree smaller stuff. European car makers. Maybe you could do it, if you had some help. I've got an idea. All I need is a battery, some shoelaces, and two propellers. <laughs> she like puts her hair up and then it immediately flops back down. Shoelaces? Uh, I think there's some shoes back behind where we were. Two propellers. Sure, a cucumber. <laughs> Twenty minutes alone. <laughs> With, yeah. Right. Okay. What do you say? Go for it. And attach it all from there. Next up, the propellers. The rotation of the blades will propel you up and forward. Next item, the batteries. This invention needs a little extra power. Shoelaces. I'll use those to tie it all together. For my next Such a puzzle. You, the levitating loafers. Floating across treacherous gaps sounds like fun to you. Klaus's new loafers should prove very satisfying. I read about these toads in Marty's books. They spit poison, so be careful. Of course, they put me over here. Or, I mean, Klaus, because he has no ranged attack. propel him in the air so ridiculously well like doesn't even float downwards just goes horizontally whichever direction he wants imagine if it was that easy to just like hover Yeah, the Harry Potter Xbox game engine. It really, it feels similar to that um, Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets game. It's hilarious. You've earned an aspiring and Adventure trophy? Peru, here we come. Is that what we came up here for? I've been paying attention. Um Can I just yeah, do this? Wait, can I just switch character? No, I do have to bring him back. Alright. So that's done. Right. Children, come look at this. It's called a perilous plant pod. I just had a case of them shipped in from Borneo. Yeah, I think my grandpa was into uh, those muscle cars. <laughs> he had an indeed. old Mustang that didn't even have um, seat belts. <laughs> The second trophy is just beyond that door, on the far side of the Grim River. Maybe you shouldn't make that Best sound. I know you can do it. <laughs> I 
the Brim River. Go on, children. Get across the rapids. Yes, but we'll have to figure out a way to lower that bridge and get across. And just go into that tree, small child. It's my turn. Tisk, tisk. Because you know, you can't just go around that. I kind of just wanted to see what would happen. Tempting. Frogs and lizards that spit poison. Right. Can't wait for uh, Michaelavos to come talk about speedrunning this game. <laughs> just imagining somebody really seriously spending hours a day just practicing going through this game quickly. Sunny. Let's get it. Sunny, we need to find a key for this. this. Let's go find Uncle Monty. What? You can just send her back through the tree. You're well on your way. This next challenge is a bit of a nasty one. You'll have to get rid of a swarm of giant wasps. Um, Uncle Monty? No need to fret. You've done such a good job so far, I'm certain you'll have no trouble at all. Ready? Go! What are these trials to become oh no, 
Vespi like Gigantis, a rare species of Australian wasps that explode when they sting you. They explode when they sting you. Why the fuck are they here? I'm pretty sure the auto aim will just take care of it if I just keep shooting. Yep. See? I knew you could take care of those wasps. There's only one challenge left. When you're ready to continue, I'll be waiting inside. One step closer to Peru. Inside? Wait. There's health here. Exploring the jungles of Peru will present each of you with problems that would be impossible to solve on your own. You'll need to work together. Teamwork! That's the key! In that cage is the final award. Get it? And I'll know I have assistants who can handle anything. How are we going to get up there? We're not. We're going to lower the cage down to us. Yeah, we need to find Uncle Monty's shipment of perilous plant pods to make this work. Each of those pods need to be moved to the right location. And we'll need to water them. Perilous plant pods. This is a good spot for my blueprint. Slim called me cheeky when he saw my BRB screen. At least you can see the marks on the ground. It tells you exactly where you're supposed to push them. Tomatoes all over his house. <laughs> I think. He said cheeky to the uh, the other one, the calm BRB screen, but it just says, hey look, I made a, a BRB screen, and it just plays the uh, Resident Evil 4 a save room music. <laughs> he called me a menace when he saw the, the cock and ball torture BRB screen. You got a kick out of it. I was sitting there cracking up the whole time I was making it too. So proud of myself. Is there one more? <laughs> yeah. It's fantastic. OK. 
Okay, back to the blueprint. Uh, baby in the hole. That's the point that we're at. Find a hole, put the baby in there. Here you go. It's your destiny. simple common ring of a doorbell, a harbinger, one might say. Harbinger is a word which can mean an announcement of someone's arrival, but a harbinger is also a warning of terrible things to come. And though it pains me to tell you this, terrible things were soon to come. Yes, uh, excuse me, guessed. I'm uh, looking for Dr. Montgomery. I am uh, Stefano. I am an Italian man. And uh, I am here to assist and uh, facilitate uh, his efforts in any way that I can, as, uh, as well as to remain observatory. You're Count Olaf. Uh, pardon me? Uh, I, I don't know of uh, any such person as a, uh, as a Count Olaf, uh, though it certainly sounds like an impressive title. We know it's you. Well, I... I think you ought to be considering your hypothesis with extra carefulness. When one jumps to conclusions and speaks without thinking, uh, who knows what can happen. And that, children, is why you should always be staying clear of broken power lines. Oops, you caught me being a mentor. Quite right, Mr. Stefano. Sound advice. It's wonderful to meet you, and bless you for coming on such short notice. Uh, Uncle Monty, we have to tell you something. Sorry, children, there's no time for chit-chat. Stefano, please come with me. I'll show you the reptile room. All of my most important scientific achievements in snakeology have been a uh, direct result from uh, me wanting to be exactly like you. It's locked. Snakeology? What do you think he's up to? I don't know, but we have to get in there to tell Uncle Monty who Stefano really is. Maybe there's another entrance to the reptile room from outside. Let's hurry. <laughs> Really has to ask me every time. It's a note from Uncle Monty. Children, I have a number of snakes that prefer to live outdoors. They must be brought into the reptile room before we leave for Peru. Please gather them up for me. Violet, I don't mind snakes, but I don't want to have to pick them up and carry them around with my bare hands. Me neither. Let's see. With the right parts, I can adapt my fruit slinger to inhale things in addition to spinning them out. I'll need a screwdriver, a garden hose, and that lawnmower bag. Oh. Garden hose, screwdriver, and that lawnmower bag. Until I have a way to pick up those snakes. <laughs> Screwdriver. Damn snakes in a bag. Screwdriver. Installed correctly, 
will allow the device to operate in reverse. It's like a switch. I'll use it to bind all the pieces together. Right. It's not my best work, but it'll have to do. I call it the reptile retriever. <laughs> she makes no sense. The Baudelaire children are often burdened with very odd chores. This is no exception. Use the reptile retriever to collect that snake. Snake collected. I wonder if anyone's tried to recreate the uh, inventions from this series. So I have that whole big ass snake in that little bag and also I'm launching tomatoes out of there. Everything dangerous. Fortunately, you are playing a video game, and when terrible things happen, you can go back and try again. That water looks dangerous. Time to use my stilts. What are those things? They look dangerous. I mean, that's just bad writing, right? Calling two different things dangerous one right after the other. A saga of in <laughs> opportune happenstances. <laughs> Indeed. How's it going, corn? All I'm going to say is that I'm glad to get this game out of the way. Alright, can, yeah, can we turn... Slippery little fella. Turn the camera? This is not going to open. That opened this gate, so now he can go this way. Ooh, what game? Went? Definitely, uh, Champions of Norath and Baldur's Gate. I really want to play those. Do some more couch co-op. Um, Spider-Man Two. Chronicles of Riddick. I'm glad I'm not allergic. 
Those are all games that I played growing up. And they were some of my favorites. I haven't played Spider-Man 2 in so long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do an unnecessary amount of uh, those pizza delivery side missions. Just because I want to hear that music. It is just so fun to move around in that game. The way the web swinging it is. It blew my mind as a kid. <laughs> Oh really? I haven't played that one. I think I played I played some of Web of Shadows on 360 and I played Oh uh, man, what was it? One of the other it was on GameCube. I played an, another you know, one of those Spider-Man games that came out after Spider-Man 2, so it's just kind of like trying to copy Spider-Man 2 but make it different. I feel like I need a platform to get across here. I'm kind of curious about uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas game too. It plays like a, a weird Devil May Cry. Yeah, Cell Shaded. Ultimate Spider-Man. That might have been it, yeah. I think. Played some of that. I never beat that game. Played through Web of Shadows twice. It was, it was good. It wasn't Spider-Man 2 though. I hope that worked. Oh, what else? I actually, I want to play Doom 3 again. I haven't played that in a long time. reference library. That's a job for Violet. Oh yeah. Need her over here. Those are the games off the top of my head that I'm most looking forward to though. I'm, I'm gonna try to space them out. Oh, I still have to play Battlefront 1 and uh, Star Wars Republic Commando. Those are really good too. Mistakes aren't so scary. You can go across into parts of Brooklyn. Oh. Uh, what that is. Um, yeah, can I put Sunny in there or not? It's a dead end. Maybe not. Oh, we have to realize first. I can't just go do it. It's my turn. I remember I finished um Baldur's Gate. What, is it Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance? Fuck. That's on um, PS2 and OG Xbox. Let's try to fuck that up. I, I showed my friend that and we just started a file and we played it until we beat the game. <laughs> played for like... It's like a solid just 12 hours straight. Something like that. It's either 12 or 20. I think 12 though. I don't know if that game's that long. Oh 
I still, I just wish that Baldur's Gate was three player. There's some gnarly vines. I've always been curious about blinks too. know that. <laughs> I played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Well, I played the first one a lot <laughs> with my brothers growing up. And I played through Baldur's Gate 2 one time with my friend later on. We never, I don't think we ever had it growing up. I want to I wanna play the remasters now. <laughs> Shit. Crazy edge maze. Uh, I should check to see what the secret file is, I guess. Uh, it's gonna be back in the house. What if this game is really short? good things about the uh, remasters. That's good. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> now she can go across. Oh, I'm looking forward to playing uh, Tomb Raider Legends too. I don't think I played the original Xbox version. Played it on uh, 360. Maybe I played the PS2 version. Snakes aren't so scary. so that I can hit that. that Come on. It's just tedious. Mm. She's there. I don't need to go there. We're going this way. I wonder how Violet's doing. played the uh, Lord of the Rings games either, and I never beat um, Lord of the Rings The Third Age. I'm excited to give that one a playthrough. I, what that did. I played it just enough growing up to know that I liked the game, but I never actually finished it. It's a pretty uh, unique title. Why even bother? Slippery little fella. These wasps are vicious.
should let him in here. Good. There's gonna be something he needs to do. She has to capture the snakes. That one almost got away. Cut all the snakes. Now we go back. Why make me capture all, all the snakes? snakes? Let's head through that door. She has the projectiles though, damn it. Ouch. Hey, what's the hurry? You're not worried about your Uncle Monty, are you? Relax, stay here. Let me play you a song. You didn't have that thing plugged up. It's this giant fart cloud that he does. Get off. Can you not? That hurts a lot. Jeez. It's my last healing. That's nuts. It's nice. I can just despawn all the frogs. Stop. What do I do about that? I think I was too close to him. You need space between him and your character to avoid that. Fuck. I fucked up. Just have to hit him one more time. Bastard. That won't be the last you hear of me! That must be the key we need to open the gate. Can we just kill him? It's a children's book without a little murder. Pretty cool key. <laughs> it's more like a keyblade. 
The reptile room was filled with the many strange creatures Dr. Montgomery had collected from around the world. There was the fidgety boa, who likes game shows, maraschino cherries, and nothing else. The septilingual tree frog, which can say hello in seven different languages. Namaste. And one creature that was exceptionally strange. Uncle Monty discovered this snake in Tanzania. It's called the Incredibly Deadly Viper. He's presenting it to the Herpetological Society next month as a new discovery. Sonny, no! Don't worry. According to these notes, it couldn't possibly harm her. The Incredibly Deadly Viper is one of the least dangerous and most friendly creatures in the animal kingdom. It certainly doesn't look friendly. Klaus? We'd better put these snakes away quickly. Put your snakes away, Klaus. Damn. That's a job for Violet. Safe and sound. It's just in the way. Shoot him down? How do I get the cages? Over 50. Okay. It shows you where the secrets are once you get enough puzzle pieces. These are going to be how you load them. Okay. Safe and sound. You must be glad to be home. There's one here. This isn't one. It's gotta be these golden cages. Hey, Nick calls the STDs. Appreciate the raid, buddy. Forgot to turn my speakers down. I said that was probably <laughs> echoey. There, that's the last How's it going? How was your now stream? I saw, yeah, you were playing Tormented Souls. This little rabbit's hopping down the old bunny trail. Appreciate the follow, that guy from BB. <laughs> like the username. It's worth a try. Let's find his guest bedroom. I'll turn that speaker down real quick. Leaving through the list. Yep. 
game. Oh, I forgot to... Damn. I told myself I wouldn't forget, but this is game number 32. Not 31. I finished 31 yesterday. Now I've been on a roll the past couple weeks, plowing through it. Uh, this, this game's alright. It's just very average, you know? Yeah, I wanted to get something different in. I know how that is. Yeah, anyone new to the channel, I'm, I'm working on going through all 992 unique Xbox, or original Xbox uh, titles. That's across all North American, Japanese only, and European only releases. There's some weird ones too. There's a Korean um, karaoke game that I got. <laughs> I'm interested in that one. Yeah, lurking. Yeah, I appreciate you. No, the ra raids are awesome. <laughs> a little bit. But I just... I thought, you know... I'm collecting all these games. I'm working on getting a disc for every release. So, like, why not stream them? I have about 400 original Xbox games right now. The current one, right now we're playing Lemony Snicket's uh, Series of Unfortunate Events. It's, uh, it's the video game based on the movie that's based on the book. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just very ordinary, very average game. I've kind of been, the past couple of weeks, focusing on movie titles, knocking out some of the real stinky ones, <laughs> like two weeks ago. I did uh, Kabuki Warriors and Sneakers, um, Dino Crisis 3, those are some of the no notoriously like worst games on original Xbox. Where are we going? What now? Stefano's bedroom. I got a little advantage on this one though. I played this growing up in like middle school, so like, I don't know how many years ago, 15, 16 years ago. Sonic Heroes? Like, yeah, it's a, it's a love and hate thing with Sonic for me. <laughs> it was good, but a pain in the ass. I couldn't imagine going through that game and getting, um, you know, all S rank. I don't know where this guy's bedroom is. I already did that with uh, Sonic 06 a long time ago. Might stream that one sometime. Just for the hell of it. Stop spinning! Yeah, From Russia with Love was solid. I liked it. Like, I'll say that game average, average games that are just fine, you know, but they don't really stand out as much are sevens. I would say From Russia with Love is like 7.5, maybe an 8. It was fine. It wasn't. Didn't overstay its welcome. It was competent. The uh, the bonus levels kind of pissed me off though. Sonic Heroes and Re from Russia with Love. Yeah, Sonic Heroes is tough. Like if you're if you're trying to get everything in that game, you <laughs> it's gonna take a while. But just going through all four story modes, um, I think it took me about like twelve hours across. I think I did two streams, like a four hour stream and an eight hour stream. Guest room? Can't go in the guest room. Looking for his bedroom. Another guest room.
I do like um, the Sonic games in general. I played Sonic 1, 2, I don't think I ever beat 3. I played Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic 06, I played, got 100% in that. Because it was the only uh, Xbox 360 game we had for like the first month that we got a, we had a 360. I haven't played Sonic 3D Blast. Early Harry Potter games, yeah, it like, I, I played a bit of, um, I played a bit of Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets and the, like we were, we were talking about earlier, like this could like literally just be the same engine th that they built this game from. Uh, I've read, I think up to book seven in this series in like elementary school, middle school. It was like... It was good because the the books aren't too long. And they give you a lot of AR points. Yep, the compilation, yeah. I'm still kind of coming up with an uh, like a, an attack plan for that one cuz it's it's just it's so many games on that disc and like you have to unlock some of them. By doing special things in other games, I think. I haven't read up on it a whole lot, but that's going to be kind of a project, just doing that one. The collection of random games for Genesis. Yeah, yeah, and there's like the live arcade disc, I think. It's like a bunch of Midway games. This compilation discs are going to really slow down the production. <laughs> That's alright though. Oh no, I'm gonna have to play video games. It is a lot to take on though, like wor working full time and then doing this after work. I live it up on the weekends though. Been doing longer streams lately. This little rabbit's hopping down the old bunny trail. Hey, thanks for the, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to read and talk and play at the same time. Uh, the Dork Gaming. Don't tell Appreciate Omar. the follow. He'll fire me for sure. Sword of Vermilion. Week two or three of playing it. Not even halfway. Damn. I don't think I've heard of that one. Is it on original Xbox? Mom used to sew all the time. Just doesn't ring a bell off the top of my head. Mom used to sew all the time. I played Knights of the Old Republic. That took me forever. It was like like 30 hours I think just going through the story I doubt he's ever used these and uh GTA San Andreas it was my first playthrough of it and that Stefano that took me, strike me as the artistic type. 36 37 hours yeah Kot Kotori was cool I still have to play we the sequel to get this open. so there's there's more hmm. I'm glad they announced a uh, remaster for that I'll need a paintbrush, a spool, and that pair of tweezers. Paintbrush, a spool. I think I saw one of those. Got the tweezers. Paintbrush. Genesis collection. Look up a walkthrough for sort of a million. Oh, it's on the Genesis collection. Gotcha. To find all the glitches that make the game play easier and faster. <laughs> That's that sounds good to me. I love finding like cheese strats. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've, I've heard like mixed things about Kotor. Um, Next piece is the paintbrush. Two. It'll allow us to keep the device steady. Some people like like it more than the first one. Like my coworker won't shut up about it. <laughs> I told him I, I started streaming and he's like, he's like, dude, you gotta to play Kotor two. It's better than the first one. I was like, okay. It's fairly simple, but it'll do the job. We'll see. I call it the lucky lockpick. But I think people like the first one generally more than the second. I'm just glad that I went into a melee class and then found out that you end up being a Jedi. Would have been a bummer <laughs> going with the gun. I'll have to follow the pattern carefully or else this will never work. One shot all enemies in the game, <laughs> including several boss fights. Oh, uh, Simon says. Right down left. This is harder than it looks. How many are we gonna do? Up, up, down. I wish I had oh, really? That. I thought it didn't register, so I hit it the third time. You can just try again on the same. The puzzles in this game are so easy. They're like very forgiving. Some of the little platforming segments, you'll lose like a couple minutes of time though. You make one tiny mistake. Up, up, down, right, up. Right. It's getting complicated. That sounds hilarious I though. Think I can do it. <laughs> you just one shot all the enemies. Circle. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. Up, left, down, up, left, up. Like the powder puff, hand mirror, extra wigs. It's like that cheese strat that we did in uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. This is more than enough evidence. Let's find Uncle Monty and show him right away. You just buy enough sure uh, to thunder hammers to cheese the whole fight. It is absolutely true that had you acted differently in life, there are mistakes that could have been avoided, opportunities that wouldn't have been missed, and yes, even lives that could have been saved. We try not to think about these things, but when tragedy strikes, we can often do nothing else. I feel I am somewhat responsible for this tragedy. I uh, should have taken it upon myself to warn him that the incredibly deadly viper is one of the most deadly snakes in the world. I should know. I discovered it myself. You what? Don't be so hard on yourself. Dr. Montgomery was clearly a very reckless and strange man. It was a snake bite that did the job. There's no question about it. No, that's not true. The incredibly deadly viper couldn't have killed him. It's one of the least deadly and most friendly creatures in the animal kingdom. <clears throat> well, I don't know what you consider friendly, but in my opinion, poisoning someone is a terribly inconsiderate gesture. Ha! Huh. If there is a truer thing that could be said, I, I cannot think of it right now. It is often that I, I must question why I have devoted my vast uh, intellect uh, to the study of these ill-mannered reptiles. Uh, they, are, they are a thankless bunch and uh, very slimy. Uh, in all my years of service, I've, I've never received a single birthday present or a greeting card. Hilarious. 
Well, uh, let me uh, let me tell you something. I, I know a snake bite when I see one. Uh, I am a world-renowned expert in snake death bite. Yes. Come on. How sad. You really have to wait for it to go all the way to the top. Well, uh, let me uh, let me tell you something. I, I know a snake bite when I see one. Uh, I am a world-renowned expert in snake death bite. I, uh, I am not Count Olaf, uh, this man of whom you speak. Uh, I am uh, I am an Italian man. Uh, in fact, how dare you, you accuse me of uh, such a thing? I like when they talk over themselves. It's the second time that's happened in this game. It was uh, Dr. Montedda's dream to take the children to Peru, and it would be a darn shame for them. But these uh, platforming sections with Sunny, basically if you mess up, it just restarts the whole damn thing. Go on for a couple minutes, so it's kind of frustrating when you lose all that progress. just in time to stick my arms out and prevent any further swallow, which is of course standard ship procedure. Come on. A lot of the enemies have these weird iframes. I am a, I'm a professional herpa slim gym first. So and I demand respect. I am uh, I am an Italian. Plain and simple. I like good food and, uh, and uh, football. The European kind. They had fun with these voice overtakes. Mm, come on. And then we do the whole thing over. There you go. Does a yep, shitty little dance. Get in there. Gee, I, I sure wouldn't want to overstep my bounds here, but uh, I have some free time now, and the tickets to Peru are non refundable. Oh, no, no, Mr. Stefano. I couldn't impose. Imposition? Uh, no, I, I can't say it's, a, it's an imposition at all, though your thoughtfulness and consideration is appreciated. It would be an honor for me to carry out the last wishes of Dr. Montgomery. He is a very brilliant dead guy. Well then, it's decided. I'll just be dragging these children to the car now. Football. Uh, Unbelievable. The, uh, European what you gun. said about the snake is true. That means Mr. Stefano must be... <gasps> Ready to go? I am Italian. The children the next went two. to live with their aunt Josephine, who lived in a very old and creaky house, perilously perched on the edge of a cliff that looked out over Lake Lacrimose. One might think that she was very brave to live in a house <laughs> like hers, but this is not true. I like aunt Josephine good food was terrified and, uh, of just about everything you can think football. to be afraid of, and quite a few things you would never no, think not. to be afraid of. Aunt Josephine? Oh, Liz, is that you? Yes. Oh, good. I was worried you might be realtors. Realtors? Well, you can never be too careful about realtors. Who knows what they're capable of? Put your bags inside. We must go to town and buy supplies. I wouldn't normally leave the safety of my house, but Hurricane Herman is supposed to arrive any time. What the realtors are totally crazy. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Grammar books? Yes. 
Grammar is my greatest joy yeah, in, in life. Uh, you can never have to US make me stop grammar. The oh. West Coast. That was all my fault, Ewa. I can't tell you how sorry I is for running you down there like that. Count Olaf. What? That horrible man you warned me about? Where? Standing right in front of you. Behind this fine gentleman? Captain Sham. Is the name? Is not. Captain Sham. Yes, what atrocious grammar. What you should have said was, no it isn't, or no it is not. Either way would have been correct. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Are you jigging me, girl? Perhaps it's just the ramblings of an expert fisherman, but grammar is the number one most important thing in this here world to me. He's wearing a disguise. That wooden leg is fake. Klaus, what a horrible thing to say. Oh, I don't pay that no never mind. Yeah. I've had to live with this sort of thing ever since me and I was chewed away by the lacrimosity. <laughs> Why didn't I wait an hour after eating? Why? Why? I've never been to Why? California. Wait, I've got one more. Why? The leeches got my husband too. <gasps> Get out of town. I used to work in Bellevue. Blasted leeches. Doomed me to a life of happen. Captain Sham. Call me Julio. Julio, please say you'll come to my house this evening for dinner. It'd be an unfathomable pleasure, me dear. Children, gather the supplies for the hurricane, would you? Oh, Here's a list of everything we'll need. Aye, tis a fine little hamlet. The townsfolk will be happy to take care of ya. Now have some peppermints and run along. We're allergic to peppermints. Pity that. Bread, cucumbers, limes, grammar books, wind chimes? What kind of hurricane supplies are these? We'd better get started. <laughs> Look, some of the stores are open. I'm trying to think of what bands I listen to that are from Seattle. Are the Melvins originally from Seattle? Because I really like the Melvins. That's a big one. Gone fishing. Yeah, Queens Rake. Because I remember the Melvins and um, Nirvana like knew each other. They were friends. I think they're from around here. Mom used to bake the most lovely cakes. I was never a big fan of Pearl Jam, but I know they're from here too. Frustrating. I know I'm gonna have to pick up all that stuff later. But they want you to move forward and then realize that you need them. And then you, you backtrack and come get them. Mom used to bake the most lovely cakes. Such a boss fight. Wow.
brats didn't beat me. I'm just gonna take a little nap. Yeah, the whole grunge uh, era. I used to listen to a lot of uh, Nirvana. A couple albums by them I really liked. It is pretty cool to be in the city. I like I like the city. I was learning more about it too. I grew up north of Seattle though. So living in Seattle is like relatively new. right now. I'm just trying to pick everything up. Let's see if they'll take it. There's no time for fishing right now. Right. Who is just it? Kill all the shopkeepers oh, one by one. Hey, sir. <laughs> Just going through this game. The more I play it, the more I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can beat this in one sitting. But also, I'm so tired from work. <laughs> but also, I want this game done. The bosses are just invulnerable until, yeah, until you can hit them. And she's she throws four things two three four yep. <laughs> this is not gonna be like San Andreas definitely not. I think the movie, it only covers like the first four books, maybe five, something like that. And we're already on book three. Two and a half hours in. Yeah, you're doing a Mega Man uh, retro achievements. I'd probably kick my ass too. No, oh, you horrible, disgusting little creatures! San Andreas took forever. God, I think that was my longest playthrough on OG Xbox so far on the channel. Like Thirty-seven hours. I think we need to go to our house yet. Gone fishing. Mom used to bake the most lovely cakes. You found the bread. Ooh, I still have more biscuits to eat after the stream. All the more reason to get this done. Looking for these. It's 
hook me in again. Try hitting that target. It should spin the crane and bring those books closer. This doesn't have enough force to move the crane. Hmm. We'll need a fishing reel, an egg gator, and a lake. We're in the middle of building something planet. else. She's trying to start building something else. Been thinking about that brisket. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have heated up more. Why are these crabs coming out to kick our ass? Doesn't make sense. So I'm in the middle of one scavenger hunt and I have to start another one. He's not gonna go over there. Closed. Hurricane Herman is drawing near. Closed. Hurricane approaching. Yeah, as soon as I got to work today, I was like looking at that brisket. I was like, I will find a way to bring some of that home. I filled the whole damn to go box. Probably like a good two pounds of brisket that they cooked overnight. Uh, that was a secret. <laughs> Something about finding the secrets when I'm trying to figure out where to go frustrates me. It's like I, I think the secrets should be more difficult to find. Now I can pick everything up. Gone fishing. Did I pick up the fishing pole yet? Big beater. Still need the fishing pole. Alright. <laughs> Retro and Terrell Spears still Sorry. thinking about that brisket too. It will make the perfect hand. I don't blame you. Next it's up? it's beautiful. The crank will allow me to launch things at a more rapid pace. I'm gonna build this. The, ladle. the perfect launcher for those hideous peppermints. God, it's so good. But even better. I call it the peppermint popper. And we got these giant biscuits from the food bank this week. So that's that's what I've been eating. Or like before the stream. I, I got home from work and I heated up that brisket, warmed up a biscuit. That's what I ate. Brisket in a biscuit. GTFO out of here. Well, I'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping in. Hanging out. Always appreciated. Um, I'm thinking... I haven't decided yet, but... Maybe Spider-Man 2? Maybe Godzilla destroy all monsters. Probably Godzilla. Real shooter. I do want to play Spider-Man 2 though. I forgot there was this little rail shooter segment of this game.
Come on, is it almost done? I'm trying to read chat. Crabs, come on. And I bet if you run out of health, you have to do this whole uh, sequence again. This game likes to do that. Okay. Oops. <laughs> well renowned. Uh, very appreciated Spider Man games. Yeah, Spider Man 2 is like the big, big boy Spider Man game. We ain't through by a long I, shot. I played the first Spider Man movie game on PS2. And there's like a couple of Spider Man PS1 games that I played too. But. That movie game, Spider-Man 2, is so goddamn good. Totally re reinvented what Spider-Man games are. I haven't played it in so long. Everything I needed. Now we go back to her house, right? She wanted emergency supplies. And Josephine, where are you? Yeah, world, world renowned. I think is the no, the phrase you're thinking of. She left us a note. Well known. As world was always the renowned. case in the lives Something of the like that. orphans. <laughs> The note said nothing good. Aunt Josephine had given up on life and willed away the children to the newly met Captain Sham. That was his plan. He made her write this note and then pushed her out the window. Poor Aunt Josephine. Violet, this note is filled with grammatical errors. Aunt Josephine would never write like this. Wait a minute. I think I found something. If you take only the misspelled letters and eliminate everything else, you end up with... Yes, it's a secret message. What? The letters combined to spell Curdled Cave. She's not dead. That's where she's hiding. Renowned? Uh, wow. I don't know. Violet! <laughs> now I've thought about it too much. I don't know what's right. Okay, well, we're going down. This simply won't do. Let's try again. That was close. Mm, that was close. What? Good can come of this. Try it. Really? You just I thought I had it rough. Like those those ones that move, they're already gone. So they might as well just not be there. You can't even like land on them and then jump off. Chair push me down. No, not what I had in mind. Let's try that again. That was close. The shoes don't fail me now. Oh, Swedish. I've got to keep moving. What was that? That was close. The shoes don't fail me now. I've got to keep moving. What an unpleasant experience. I've always thought your English is pretty good. Uh, Carl. Fail me 
now. <laughs> Better than some people I know that only speak it. English. Almost there. God, just let me in. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's not the best solution, but it'll have to do. Found an umbrella. The windy hallway? Is that where we're going? There's something over here. Okay, not that way. We're going this way. This room is falling apart. We'll need to be careful. Oh, uh, English at work. He, yeah, some gaps in the knowledge. Well, I know, I know like very little Spanish, just what I remember from high school, and that's it. <laughs> just English, pretty much. I've learned some Spanish from working in kitchens too. Isn't it really late where you are, Carl? It's, it's just now getting dangerous. This is getting dangerous. <laughs> she interrupted the narrator. It's gone. All right. Yeah, we're going to try again. 7.30 in the morning. So, yes. <laughs> that would be very late for me. <laughs> if I'm awake at 7.30 in the morning, then it's because I'm, I'm still awake from the night before. This is getting dangerous. High school. Uh, like, like, grade school. Um, when I was... What is it, 15 years old to eight, 18 years old is high school. That's so cool, we can kind of help you learn more English. <laughs> well, it's, it's four years, so... Uh, 14 to 18 <clears throat> when you graduate from grade school. The last four years of grade school is high school. sure if we go out that hole in the wall. <laughs> Tripping me up. Let's not fall. Yeah, high school. Ninth grade to twelfth, uh, twelfth grade. Oh 
the thing's just upgraded now. It just shoots peppermints, no more tomatoes. I better watch my footing. Let us turn from this misfortune and try again. I feel like this is going on forever. This is getting dangerous. It's getting dangerous again. They lived happily ever after. Oh wait, um, no, they didn't. I thought that this house was like tiny. This this place is enormous. Try again. Just want to get past this. Let's try that again. Damn it. I have no idea how to pronounce that. It's... Wow, our lights are flickering. It's really windy outside and stormy. Maybe some of the lightning I've been hearing in the headphones is actually outside. <laughs> Age 12 to 15. Which is grid seven to nine. Yeah, there's no real high school. High stages. <laughs> yeah, it's totally different. That's funny. Because you would think it'd be the same thing, high stages and high school. but it's a different age group. <laughs> oh my god. Do you feel like something How do you get over there? Damn. You should. How's the narrator being evil now? I've gone this way before. What the hell I'm is this? I'm terribly sorry, but you must try that again. Yeah, your high stages is like our middle school. I bet, I, yeah, I'm supposed to hug the left wall. Okay. Doesn't really look like it. But the platform is further back. <laughs> Damn it. Try again. She only holds the umbrella open for like a couple seconds. And then closes it. Get your ass over there, that damn. Was close. That's it. Let's go. No way. How will we find the Curdle Cave? Curdle Cave.
each of the three children have their own little hurricane segment. That sucks. You are playing a video game, and when terrible things happen, you can go back and try again. This is annoying. Boo -hoo. Fuck. We did it. I'm glad that was a short section. Okay, I have to wait for the water. A building where people do exercise. Gymnasium. <laughs> yeah. Just call it gym if it's weights and stuff. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, really? Bug just fly past my face. Come on, just let me up. Oh no! <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't see she that. can't crouch. That hit me. Come on. Takes the time to do that. Feel like a bag of skates. How are we going to get to Kirtle Cave? The ferry shut down for the storm. Ever read any books means. about sailing? <laughs> Klaus had read many, many books on sailing, but it is one thing to read about something, and another entirely to do it. Had the Baudelaire children been given a choice, they certainly would have opted to read about sailing a boat to Curdled Cave. But very little in their unfortunate <laughs> lives Ice skates occurred in a by their choice. It's like a... Aunt Josephine, yeah. Children, you did it. it doesn't sound you like the clues in my note. it's a good thing to be me to write the will. Oh, a bag of skates. It nearly killed me to add in those grammatical errors. I knew after I'd written it that he would do me in, so I threw a chair through the window and escaped while he wasn't looking. Thank goodness. Are you ready to go back? Go back? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going back. What? Well, it's not safe. Though. Count Olaf lurking about. And Josephine, you have to come back with us. You will it's a funny uh, sure figure of speech back. that I've never heard before. I'm sorry, children. It's just too dangerous. I'm not going to discuss it any further. You know, Aunt Josephine, Curdle Cave is for sale. So? That means that before too long, people will come to look at it. And some of those people will be realtors. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. All right, I'll figure be. skate of speech. But I'm not going anywhere without my grandma books. <laughs> They're at the base of the caves. You could take the elevator down if it wasn't stuck at the bottom. Hey, nice. Sonny, we're going to need your help with this. Yeah, let's save. Yeah, I think I'm about halfway. No, this might be like the last chapter. See, I have the brown puzzle pieces, the yellow ones, green ones, blue ones, and now I'm getting red ones.
So, like, that's got to be towards the end. Because it doesn't look like there are any other puzzle pieces, uh, variations. I love hearing about, like, different... Especially insults in other languages. Like, especially, uh, like, Chinese insults. They're, they're just so... So mean. <laughs> Just very mean spirited. They like disgrace your ancestors in all these different ways. Feeling like a bag of skates. Like I I I can I can see the logic behind it. It's like like if you're on skates, you're uncoordinated. And like Like you're ready to topple over, so like a bag of skates. It's like a concentration of all of the. That was difficult to watch. Uh, I didn't know that hurt me. All of the uh, the like unorthodox nature of uh, being on skates, concentrated across multiple <laughs> skates, just thrown in a bag. Of... Like I can I can kind of get it. It's just funny. trying to think of a funny figure of speech in English that maybe you haven't heard of. I think so, because this game doesn't seem like it's very long. Sonny, you did so well. So we got the elevator? Don't even touch a crab. I guess I was already hurt. You can't jump up there. Throw skates into a bag. Yeah. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. Like, there's no way to... elegantly store skates in a bag. <laughs> this kind of thing drives uh, my friend Fyodor. He, he, he speaks Russian and English. This, this sort of thing drives him crazy. He's like, thought... Uh, What's, what is it? Thought... Exercises? <laughs> Swedish idioms. Don't sell the pelt before the bear is shot. To walk like the cat around hot porridge. <laughs> I like those. <laughs> the game is alright chosen. It's we head back pretty much what I remember. I played this growing up. I don't remember the rail shooter part though. I do remember the Simon Mouse? says lock picking Was that your stomach? I don't think so. It's the leeches. Uh, it's a good thing none of us have eaten in a while. Right? I had one banana left. I was so hungry. Ahoy. We've got to hold the leeches back until it can rescue us. Oh yeah, the leeches. I can't let those leeches reach out Joseph. This 
game's kind of funny, like, it's a little bit all over the place. Oops. She's getting crunched by leeches. Those red ones just go right for her, damn. Yeah, I don't... Count your chicken before, before it hatches? Is that what it was? Uh, one I hear all the time is uh, there, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Dead shit. Shit. I think if she gets one more bite, she's done. Make a chicken out of a feather? As so often <laughs> happens, the Baudelaire children's relief turned to despair when their rescuer turned out to be none other than Count Olaf. And as so yeah, very often Mount happens, Nanavan, Count Olaf did Ant something of such Mohill. unspeakable cruelty that I must refuse to even speak about it. Suffice it to say, Aunt Josephine was no longer a part of the children's lives. Aunt Josephine! Revive Retro. Children! How's it going, buddy? Is that you? <coughs> it's looking like I'm gonna beat this game yes, in one it's sitting. Me, Violet. It's actually pretty short. Our dear Count Olaf has just saved nice. us from the lacrimose leeches. Back! Back to the depths, you blood sucking Helliums! Molehill? There's no word for molehill. It's so interesting. Today. Not I'm excited for that next uh, shipment of games. Not on my watch! No, I like the first one. We almost got them all shipped over. <clears throat> it appears I was wrong about you. You've proven yourself to be an exceptionally capable guardian, and I would be remiss in my duties if I did not put them back in your care. <clears throat> oh, I'm dancing on air. My heart is swelling like a blood tick. Why, if it weren't for you? Don't say it. I can't bear the thought of losing my little treasures. Even the massive inheritance would be a constant reminder of my heartache. Really? Oh, well, no need to fret about that. The law clearly states that you would not inherit the Baudelaire fortune if anything happened to the children. That only applies to close relatives and married couples. Married? My good man, you've given me an idea. I shall celebrate the children's safe return with the debut performance of my new play. It's called The Marvelous Marriage. <laughs> oh, yeah. This the is the next book. The children discovered that Count Olaf planned Fourth to gain book? control of their fortune by marrying Violet. To ensure that they would cooperate, Count Olaf caged their sister, Sunny, and suspended yeah, her from the top of his tower. While Violet felt she had no choice but to go through with the wedding, Klaus set off on his own to rescue Sunny before it was too late. Kind of like an anthill, but yeah, for a mole. Oh, and uh, don't don't cry over spilt milk is a big one. Everyone knows. Violet could think of some use for this. I doubt Count Olaf has here. ever put this to use. Just 
Just never learned the English English word for molehill. Don't cry over spilled old goat's urine. <laughs> I was like, I d I'm, I'm starting to doubt that. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That that's a a shared idiom. are being feisty right now. Let's see. The bicycle pump will transfer pressure. So let's start with that. Next, the coil. That's what I'll use to extend and retract the device. What about uh, crocodile tears? And last, the gardening tool. A perfect hook to grab onto those hard to reach spots. A, s a stitch in time saves nine. Violet's more I've probably heard that before. I'll give it a shot. I'll call it the horrifying hook. Like butter and sunshine. Yeah, crocodile tears is fake tears. Yeah, that's what my dad would always say whenever one of us would cry. He's like, "Oh, those are just crocodile tears." <laughs> you knock it off. Something sells really, really well. Hmm. For that sort of thing, I've heard um, like something is hey. it's selling like hotcakes. You just don't give up. I don't do really you? know why. Butter would sell really extra well in sunshine. Yeah. It's the only thing I can think. Like, people want to buy it before it melts. I, I guess. guys in barrels. So many people just want to throw barrels at you. You can do it, Klaus. Keep it together. Oh, sewing. I was thinking like like if you get stitches. 
<laughs> like, it's better to get stitches right away, or you're just gonna have to get more later, or something like that. Makes way more sense for, like, in the context of sewing, though. the top already. Just wait till I get my hooks on you. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. Out the window. That's, that's crazy though, uh, I don't think I've seen the lights flicker here before. It must be really windy outside. Good news is, even if we lose power, I think... Every, mostly everything should still work, maybe not the lights. But with the computer and the Xbox and everything, it's all hooked up to a battery. That should last a couple hours. So it might not even interrupt the stream if we lose power. I keep seeing like it's almost like a slight little like power surge, like the lights Hold on, Sonny. flicker just for out of there. a second. It's only like three times now. Unless we get you down there fast. I hate to tell you this. There's a bit of a snag in your plan. my brain failing me. I, I think it just flickered again. It's really slight and hardly noticeable. It's probably pretty apparent out here though because the the bright lights. <laughs> you just give me health. This is gonna take forever. I have to hit him like five times. Definitely am sleep deprived though. Doing that purple barrel. I'm having barrels of fun. 
Thanks for the good luck. I will make sure not to say the forbidden word. Just hit 377 hours on total OG Xbox playtime. So we'll see, we'll see where we're at. When that zero zero hits. Well, I can't say it. Go stop Violet before she signs the marriage certificate. Whoopa. Whoopa. I'll think of something. Yeah, nice try though. AJ, how's it going? I'm trying to, well, for one, get this bug out of my face. And I'm trying to see if I can beat this game in one sitting. It's been my, my new thing lately. Start a game and just beat it. Because <laughs> I keep doing like two or even three streams of like each game and it's just taking forever. Yeah. Yeah, you did the same uh, word word band when I was playing Robocop. Well, I'm glad you're good, uh, AJ. That's good. I'm looking forward to eating some more uh, brisket. More biscuits. That, that was my before stream food. It's gonna be my after stream food too. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Can I change characters? No. Can I mess with this? That looks important. Nothing? Oh, and uh, Revive Retro. I just saw your message on Discord. I'm pretty sure I do need cars. If you haven't sent it to me yet, then I, I do need a disc of that game. Oh, we're... You've lost! The mess with them. Oh, is mine. I have a marriage certificate, and there's nothing you can do about it. 11,000. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Of light. If I can point it at the marriage 11,000 hours, yeah. Just might work. Well, you know, they say if you do something, anything for 10,000 hours, you're a virtuoso at it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just going to fuck with them. Do I... I have to burn this certificate, okay.
This is a real cakewalk. A dreadful situation, isn't it? Ah, oh, fuck. Can I just restart? I obviously fucked it. Are you even trying to hurt me? You may want to try a little harder next Nah, time. I haven't played Blinks yet. I was just talking about it earlier. It's a... Uh, it was one of the games I thought of when someone asked, uh, what are some Xbox games that I'm looking forward to playing? Always been interested in that game. What cheats <laughs> the Cars game would have? Handwritten list of cheats for the game. <laughs> That's awesome. I love stuff like that. I still have my somewhere. We still have a uh, a little booklet that had all the cheat codes for uh, all the Spyro games. You could like give him a flat head or a big head, turn him blue or red. Yeah, I generally like um, 3D platformers. So Blinks is always one that's been kind of on my radar. Do want to get it. Fire. Don't fire. They're shooting watermelons at me. Yeah, different paint jobs. Yeah, we're talking about the first Cars game. I just streamed that the other day. Or is that? No, yesterday I did Prince of Persia in the Sands of Time. The game before that was Cars. Going through so many games so quickly that I'm like <laughs> getting them mixed up. Damn it, he got away. top left, that little scrap of paper is all that's left of the certificate. And I have to burn the last little corner of that piece of paper. Oh, you got 100% AJ. Did you play it on 360 and achievement on it? I am thrilled to say that Count Olaf was captured, that he was imprisoned and found guilty by the court for crimes too numerous to mention, and that before serving his life sentence, it was the judge's decree that Olaf be made to suffer every hardship that he had forced upon the children. <laughs> Help. The 
The children, meanwhile, were put in the care of Justice Strauss, who let Klaus spend all his free time reading in her library. Uh, PS2. Collected discarded mechanical parts for Violet to use in her inventions, and filled Sonny's bedroom with things for her to bite on. I'm thrilled to say all this, but alas, it is not the truth. As I warned at the very start, the video game you are playing does not have a happy ending. If you like, you may turn the machine off right this instant and not view the unhappy ending that is to follow. <laughs> wow! wow. <laughs> All part of the show, ladies and gentlemen. All part of the show. Lights! Lights, you buffoon! Oh, sorry. Is this Stop the him. end of the game? <coughs> it might be. He's getting away! This isn't. Thanks, Shardor. No matter where you go, I'll find Grace you. Of Rama. No matter what you say, no one will Don't believe you. Because you're dull, uncivilized, insignificant little children, and you're all alone in this horrible world. Yeah. Um... I'll get my hands on your fortune if it's the last thing I do. So dramatic. Oh, I hated that. Let's do it again. And here we are at an ending most unfortunate. Count Olaf has escaped. The Baudelaire parents are still dead, and the orphans are once again on their own. Cars I one was reports of my was investigation fun. at prearranged locations, and continue to do everything in my power to keep you informed as to the fate of the children. But I must warn you, whatever adventures lie ahead for them are almost certain to be fraught with tribulation. <laughs> A word which here means heartache, misery, and suffering. Did you see him in the back? He was he was laying up here the whole time. Yeah, that's that's it. That's the game. Three and a half hours. It would just be sad if it took two streams to beat this game. <laughs> Another one down. <laughs> That's funny, you didn't notice him. <laughs> he was back there sleeping the whole time. Now he's, he's up here with a vengeance, demanding attention, and drooling all over me. Oh my god, so much drool. Why does he drool? Yeah, I can't believe how short this game is. The music? Jeremy Soul made the music? That's the guy that made music for Skyrim. Maybe he scored the film, too. And they just took music from the film? He did score the film. Maybe he made unique music for this game, too. I don't know. I was wondering about that piano music. It was cool when uh, Violet was playing the piano. Time for one of the many sports games. <laughs> Racing, yeah, wrestling, baseball, football, other football, and skiing. And uh, skateboarding, um, cricket, there are a bunch of cricket games. <sighs> it's gonna be torture. Secret of Evermore. I don't know it. I'm not familiar with that uh, soundtrack. It's coming back with the drool. I know Jeremy Soul's. Uh, he's got quite the portfolio, though. Just huge um, game OST composer. It's always interesting seeing where his name pops up. Uh, Secret of Mana, Super Nintendo. Stay up. Okay. Can't get your fur all over the couch. Oh my god. 
but do we need to give you less water? <laughs> Will you generate less drool? What is it? Leaving for now? Yeah, the stream's about to end anyways. Appreciate you hanging out. Glad you found the stream. He's, he's getting pets. That's probably why I missed it. It was for Super Nintendo. More Americanized story and uh, protagonist. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be right up Moon's Alley, Hysteric Moon. Look, I just, I see drool coming out of his mouth. <laughs> It's hopping down the old the trail. Long thank yous. Oh, Apothecary Joe. Thanks for the follow. And thanks for raiding uh, Dreamy earlier. hairs so that game was something yeah we're gonna save that oh my god it's a monster he just wants his loose hairs to cover the entire apartment okay up in the timer that was from the title screen ish to the end of the credits sequence three hours 35 minutes not a long game at all <laughs> I'm kind of surprised at how short it was it's not even midnight yet it's almost fucked up <laughs> That's alright though, I'm so tired. If I get some sleep tonight, I can probably start early tomorrow. Do a nice long game. Maybe I'll do Spider-Man. I'm thinking about Spider-Man a lot. Maybe I'll do Spider-Man 1 and then Spider-Man 2. Just to keep going with the movie titles. But also play another really good game. played enough bad games the past couple weeks, I think. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and look for someone to raid, though. Thanks for hanging. It's always nice. Appreciate you, Retro Interocitor. Thanks to Revive Retro. Appreciate you. Thanks for getting all those games together, God. It, <laughs> I wouldn't want to deal with all that. I'm not looking forward to logging them all and adding them all to my spreadsheet. I've just been waiting to uh, accumulate them all, and then I'm going to combine uh, what little collection I had with the collection you're sending me. There's always Abby Jams to raid. <laughs> he is pretty cute. I just wish he didn't drool all over me. My leg is wet. The couch is wet. <laughs> he just gets too excited.
There's retro achievement hunting going on. Slim's still online. I'm gonna swing a raid his way. But uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna end my stream. Thanks again to everyone that was hanging out. Oh my god. He's a monster. <laughs> He's very lovey, but if you, you get him too riled up, he starts biting and scratching. See? He wants to crunch me. God. Appreciate you, Trogdor. I'm gonna put it on my end screen here and I'll queue up a red. Appreciate y'all. you with the welcome y'all to the stream uh i appreciate y'all raiders how y'all doing let me give you a shout out real quick big talk <laughs> i'm doing my best here now what the fuck is this oh no that's the dino crisis Really, it was only three and a half hours. Wait, which one? Oh, you talking about Sands of Time? Because if you're talking about Sands of Time, that's hilarious. And I told your ass you weren't going to beat it in one night. But all you, uh, welcome, uh, new people to the stream. It is I, Slim Cognito. We basically just be chilling, talking about game design, everything in depth, tech, anime, everything else, blah, blah, blah. Comics. The end of Dino Crisis 3. That piece of trash. You did finish it last night? I hate your ass. So, wait, wait, wait. So, you beat Warrior Within? Did you go straight into Warrior Within or did you play something else? What did, what did you do? Series on a, of unfortunate events that Lemony Snicket joint. Oh, okay, I see what you said. Shit, I don't think I ever played that game, but I remember it's uh, being advertised. Also, uh, for our newcomers, uh, here's a little present for you. Let me see here. Eh. What's, What's up, Doc? You got a tight little man maybe on you, don't you? Oh, it stinks. Nice. There you go. You're welcome. Thank me later. But yeah. I figured you would have gone directly into uh, Prince of Persia Warrior Within. <laughs> I knew you would like this shit. I was like, this one's for Biggie. 